Hey, you get out of there. G'day, g'day, g'day. Gay's having trouble with g'day today. <laughs> Maybe it's not a g'day because you're not allowed to camp out here. Still a g'day. Yeah. So we're out here at Will's Bend. There's the sign. Out here at Will's Bend and it's got a big flashing. Is that orange? Yeah, it's stuff? got the orange flashing with some star pickets blocking it off, but someone's already broken it, which I'm tipping they expect that sort of thing to happen. But yeah, it's all closed up and shut up shop. We've had a bit of a look only from the fence because we follow the rules. But um, yeah, there's a bit of water lying around still. So what's that, a month after the fact? Yeah, the floods were in... Uh, Early just late, oh, October. actually October, November, yeah. They were in October, uh, mid-October, the floods, and it's now early 2023. Yeah. Yeah, so about four months, maybe. Yeah, there's still a bit of water. And and imagine the mozzies, oof. Yeah, there's still a, a fair bit of water around. And I can hear boats on the river. Yeah, well, the river's back up and running, yeah. so that was closed for quite a while, so... The river would be just over there, depending on which way you go, because once you get in here, you can drive around quite a bit. It's a bend. It's cool. a large Will's bend. bend for a reason. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We'll go down, and our next one, we're going to have a look at Turrumbury. We think there might be a few people down there. Turrumbury. Turrumbury. Come on. <laughs> So here we are at the Turumbri Weir. The road or the river track that we've travelled along plenty of times before. 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 That's a new new it word. Is. It's like before, but not. <laughs> it's a new word, and it looks like it's been graded into a sort of levee. Yeah, it definitely looks like a levee, and uh, it, and quite recent works too as well, not just when the floods were. Yeah, and we didn't want to jump in that icky water. Oh, no, imagine the mozzies in the area. Oh, well, with all the roads closed and no access down to the river, what does one as an Australian do? Goes to the pub with everybody else. Well, they weren't quite there yet. I'm sure they'll turn up, though. This is the Litchfield Hotel where old mate works. Old mate gives us all the information we need to know. We had a feed, it's a great pub meal there. I had a palmer, obviously, Gay had a snitch. We could have shared it, couldn't we? Yes. But anyway, we didn't. We ended up sharing it with the dogs. Bye, Litchfield. Boo. And not far down the road, there's the RV Friendly Park. It's next to the swimming pool. They've got a dump point, they've got dunnies. I think you can stay a night or two there. It's a nice little setup. It's not far from town. You can wander in or you could drive in if you want to. Most people wander in. Yeah, it's a really, really nice little spot. Always looks a bit like an oasis. Our intel told us, <laughs> our intel before we went was uh, we thought that part of the river might have been open for camping and the places that we went, we went to Turumbri and Gumbawa, uh, they definitely weren't open and it wasn't open up around Kahuna either. Old mate told us that they even had cameras along the roads and were booking people if they found anyone camping in the area. And here we are on the new bridge again. 
Uh, and as you can see, this is in the middle of January and normally this should be very busy, but there's really not many cars around at all. Why is that? Because there was no campers. Going from Victoria to New South Wales, we come out at Moama. It's in a good position for us when we go visit family. Yeah, it's perfect. So we're up there for a little bit of a mini break and down where we are on the Mornington Peninsula it was chockers. Well in Echuca it was far from chockers. What was that? There was no campers. Yep, no campers because there was no camping. There was no camping so no campers. But park wherever you want almost, it was great. Yes, so we were able to get rock star parking virtually everywhere we went. Yeah. And then the Moama market. They moved. It moved because of floods. They moved the market so it was further away so i don't know if it's a good thing or not or whether it's a permanent thing or not uh, we've we experienced a lot about flow last year yes and this was a different flow yes there was not any flow yeah no mm -mm. no flow no flow no campers no flow no camping yeah no campers give us a big thumbs up we appreciate you watching the video and we will see you in the next video